In this video, we're going to be showing you exactly how to get shaders for Minecraft 1.20.4. Now, we're not going to be using Optifine for that because Optifine is currently on a development hiatus, basically meaning it's not going to be updated in the near future. But as soon as it's updated, we will do a video on it. So be sure to subscribe for that. But that doesn't mean you have to go without shaders. Luckily, there is a complete shaders mod that allows you to run all of the Optifine shaders, or at least 95% of them, without any issues and in the latest version of Minecraft, in this case, 1.20.4. 20.4. So in the description down below, specifically the second link down below, you'll find a link to this. And this is our in-depth guide on getting the shaders mod, which is called Iris Shaders. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the download Iris Shaders button to be taken to the official download page. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on the download universal jar button to start downloading Iris Shaders. You may need to keep this in Google Chrome or save it on Firefox. It just depends on your browser, but it's 100% safe to do that. Now we then also do need a shader pack. Like I said, this will work with most Optifine shaders packs and in this video we're going to go ahead and grab a few. First is going to be BSL shaders. We'll also go ahead and grab the complementary shaders pack as well and then we will grab vanilla plus shaders. These are just some of my favorites but any shaders pack typically will work with Iris and if the first one you try doesn't Pretty much guaranteed the second one you try will, and uh, all the ones on our website are supporting Iris shaders. So nevertheless, we can go ahead and download these from CurseForge here. We can come here and click the three dots here and click download file. While this is downloading, how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. It's super quick and super easy to get your Simple Game Hosting server up and running, and you can even have mods, plugins, and mod packs. And if you want a mod pack, we have a super easy one-click mod pack installer that lets you install hundreds of mod packs without having to upload any files to the server. Plus, if you do have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, Vanilla Plus Shaders is now finished downloading. Let's go ahead and move on to BSL Shaders. Once you're on BSL Shaders website, you want to make sure you're selecting BSL Shaders, clicking download, and we're going to download this on Modrinth because that's another popular place that you will commonly find shader packs. Now, on BSL's website, it will take you to the most recent version automatically, and once you're here, go ahead and click on download. One thing worth noting here, though, is we can actually see that this does support loaders, iris, and optifines. We can see that iris shaders is supported here. Complementary is the last one. This one's on CurseForge. We've already went through that process. Come here, click the three dots, and click download. And by the way, if these aren't 1.20.4 compatible, that's perfectly fine. Generally, shaders packs can be compatible from 1.16 up to the newest version with very minimal changes, so don't worry about that too much. Nevertheless, all of our shader packs and our shaders are downloaded. Let's go ahead and minimize our browser. I'm going to move all of these to our desktop. By default, they're in my downloads folder here, so we're going to move them here. Now, we're going to be getting started with the iris shader file, and we can actually move all of our shader packs out of the way for now. The Iris installer is here though, so let's go ahead and right click on that, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, no worries. Just get Java 17 from the description down below. This is an in-depth guide that covers everything. In some cases, after you get Java 17, you may need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. But first, get Java 17, then run the jar fix, and you'll be good to go. Now let's go ahead and right click on Iris again, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. That will open up the Iris installer here, where we just want to select 1.20.4, and then we want to click Iris installer, and then click install. Now, the only reason that this won't work after clicking install is if one, you've never played Minecraft 1.20.4 before. Just go launch the main menu on the latest release 1.20.4, come back and you'll be able to install Iris Shaders. You also want to make sure that Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed, otherwise you may have issues. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and close out of the Iris installer and we can go ahead and launch Minecraft using Iris Shaders. How do we do that? Well, if we open up the Minecraft launcher here, we will be able to see that we have an Iris profile that we can play Minecraft with. Right there it is, Iris and Sodium. You may need to click here to find it and then select it and click play. Now, for whatever reason you don't have it in this kind of drop menu here, we want to go to installations. Then you want to make sure modded is checked. As you can see, if modded is not checked, Iris isn't there. If you check modded, there it is. Click play, click play again. But if for whatever reason you still don't have Iris 1.20.4 here, go ahead and click new installation. 
You can name the server you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because that's the easiest way to start a Minecraft server for you and your friends. And then go ahead and click the version drop down. Here, you want to select Release Iris Fabric Loader 1.20.4. It's right here at the top for me. You may need to scroll down to find yours. But go ahead and select that. Just make sure it says 1.20.4 at the end. And it says Iris at the beginning, which it does. Then I'm going to change the resolution just so you can see better once we get in game and click Create. Now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly has Iris and 1.20.4 under it. So we can go ahead and play that if you didn't have the Iris and Sodium for 1.20.4 already. And now you've got shaders installed. But how do we install some shader packs? Let's go ahead, let Minecraft open, and I'll show you how to get these shader packs installed and get things activated. So here we are, Minecraft is open. To get our shader packs installed, just click on Options, and then we want to go to Video Settings, and then finally, Shader Packs at the top. One more time, from the Minecraft main menu, click Options, Video Settings, and then Shader Packs up here at the top. Last but not least, click the Open Shader Pack folder here to open the Shader Packs folder on your computer. Then drag and drop any Shader Pack you want to install here, whether that's the ones we've downloaded or any other Minecraft Shader Pack. Just drag and drop it right here into the Shader Packs folder. Then we can close out of that, and we will be able to see in-game that we have a few different shader packs that we can click on. For example, we have Complimentary, Vanilla Plus, and BSL, because those are the ones we install. Let's go ahead and activate one by clicking on it and then clicking Apply. When you do it, we'll turn yellow, right like so, and we are good to go. So we have BSL installed now. We click Done. We can change a lot of other settings in here, by the way, for quality, performance, all that stuff. And if you do want Optifine, be sure to subscribe because we have an Optifine alternative mod pack coming out that's really, really cool. And uh, yeah, we have a dedicated video for that. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and click on multiplayer here and you can join a multiplayer server with shaders without adding anything to the server. For example, this is just a vanilla simple game hosting server here. If we join it, it's going to work with shaders because like I said, you don't have to do anything server side to get shaders to work. Once we're in game, we'll be able to see immediately that shaders are active. And what's really cool is you can actually change shader packs in game. So this is BSL shaders. It's a bit more of a yellow tint sort of shader pack, but amazing nonetheless. And actually one of the most popular shaders packs, if not the most popular one ever made. But let's say we wanted to go ahead and switch things up to Vanilla Plus Shaders. Go ahead and hit Escape to pause Minecraft, go into Options, Video Settings, and then up here at the top, Shader Packs. Now we can switch Shaders Packs and actually see what's going on in the background. For example, if we click complimentary and click apply we can see things change in the background once it loads now it's gonna pause and kind of like freeze minecraft for a second you may get like a non-responding and then boom there we go then we can for example switch over to vanilla plus shaders now one of the things about vanilla plus shaders is it doesn't have a lot of shading going on at all but you can change some of that by going into these shader pack settings here and that's going to be the case with every single shader pack they have their own sort of shader settings for example you can here and change fog if you want it or clouds and how, how, you know, those work. Volumetric clouds on and off. If we turn those off, we'll see some changes to the clouds and specifically, they'll disappear. So nevertheless, there's all that. And this is per shader pack. So if we go back to complementary shaders or complementary unbound shaders here, we will be able to see that if we go into shader pack settings, there are profiles. So for example, if you were running on a lower end potato based computer, for example, you could turn this to potato and still run some shaders. If you wanted to get things a little more, you know, different, a little more higher end, you could come in here and set these to ultra settings, for example, which is what we'll do and play shaders like that. So there you have it. That's how you can get shaders in Minecraft 1.20.4. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and enjoy shaders in Minecraft. It's honestly one of the best, if not the best, Minecraft mods. And I love to see that Iris Shaders is continuing the legacy, even if Optifine is taking a bit of a break from updating. We'll see you in the next video, and I am out. Peace.